what you need to know before moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the Victoria Park Neighborhood Edition. Victoria Park's an upscale residential area reminiscent of really old Florida with luxury homes and traditional homes that were built in the 1920s and 1930s, okay? Parks with jogging trails, tennis courts, and all kinds of playing fields and its location on and near the water draws water and sports enthusiasts for kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, canoeing, and stuff like that. Today we're going to show you the style and the charm of the popular Fort Lauderdale neighborhood known as Victoria Park. Welcome to our channel, Living in Fort Lauderdale with Kevin Sues. I'm Kev. And I'm Sues. So, if this is your first time viewing, welcome. If you checked us out before, welcome back. So let's go see what Victoria Park, the park, and Victoria Park, the neighborhood, has to offer. Yeah, and if you'd hit that like button, we'd surely appreciate it. It helps grow our channel. Here we are just walking down Victoria Park Road, which you'll see some of the, uh, the diversity of the architecture here, which kind of lends a lot to Victoria Park's charm. You'll see they call it, it's, it's reminiscent of what they used to call the Florida Cracker Houses. What they are is just the way that they were put together back in like the 40s and the 50s. So a lot of folks have come in, come down here and then if you're one of the fortunate ones to have been able to pick up a property here 15 or 20 years ago, you will have seen some massive appreciation in here. A lot of the properties in here, the median sale price of homes here in Victoria Park is about 425,000 when you factor in single family homes and also factor in a lot of the uh, condos and the townhomes in here that lends for a pretty high median sale price. Well actually it's actually one of the highest ones in Broward County if not the highest for a given neighborhood. So you'll see some of the beautiful trees here, beautiful roads. It's no wonder folks love Victoria Park. One of the great things about Victoria Park is its actual location. It's within a couple miles of the shops and the restaurants in Las Olas, the central business district here in Fort Lauderdale. Very very close to Fort Lauderdale Beach and to the beaches around here. It's bordered by Broward and Sunrise Boulevards, the Isles of Los Olas, the Southeast, and Fort Lauderdale Beach are all very, very short walks right down the street. It's easily one of the most recognizable neighborhoods around here. Not only just from this, from the trees and from the parkland, but also from the, uh, from the actual style of the homes. It really does epitomize the old world charm of the Fort Lauderdale area. There's about 2,000 homes that make up Victoria Park and there's about 1,500 condos and townhomes and apartments all that are also in there. There's also a very, very large number of bungalows, kind of like older bungalow homes and ranch homes and stuff like that that were built within the 1940s and the 1950s. All the new construction going in is typically two-story and they're about 3,000 square feet. So they're very large upscale properties here. And some of the best shopping and dining is really close by, like Canyon Restaurant, the Galleria Malls right, is just right, right down the street and also all the shopping as we as we talked about at Los Olas Boulevard. There's a number of parks in Victoria Park itself. You have Victoria Park and then you have the Holiday Park which is actually now a big tennis center thanks to Chrissy Everett who grew up here and trained as a tennis star from here. Like most of the areas around here it has a great Broward County Schools. Victoria Parks has certainly earned its name at least the park portion of it. There's over 95 acres of parkland in Victoria Park. Today we're down at the uh, Ann Beck Park which is right on the water. You can see the beautiful water in the background here on the nice little hiking trails and, and uh, biking trails that are around here. So um, it's one of the one of the nice parts that are here at Annie Beck Park here backed up on the water. Beautiful little area down here. Nice trees, nice and quiet. It's actually a little bit cooler down here in the shades. You've heard us mention the term Florida cracker architecture. And basically what it is, it was very, very popular back in the 30s and the 40s. What it really comes down to is it's metal roofs, there's raised floors, you wrap around porches and what they call shotgun hallways. So it's a very, very popular architecture and it's making a, a tremendous resurgence here today. But a lot of the uh, homes here are basically being redone, torn down and rebuilt just like they were originally when they were built, you know, over 70 or 80 years ago. We're here at, at Holiday Park. Actually, it's one of the largest parks in Victoria Park. It's also one of the largest parks in Broward County. So it's 94 acres. It's actually considered one of the crown jewels of the Broward County Parks Authority. It has athletic fields that are all lit up and it has roller hockey rinks, basketball courts, a gymnasium, an auditorium. It's also home to the uh, Chrissy Everett Lloyd uh, Tennis Center, which is actually where Chrissy Everett grew up playing tennis down here, but it's turned into a world-class tennis center where a lot of folks from all over the world come and train to, to learn how to play tennis. Also right in front of the Parker Playhouse, which has a lot of areas for uh, folks to be able to come and see shows that are going on, little concerts. Just a really, really nice area to hang out. And because of its location within Fort Lauderdale itself, it's also kind of a bit of an artsy area too. There's a lot of community galleries here that people do all their showings and stuff like that. And a lot of folks come out here. It's just a really kind of a beautiful area to kind of hang out in. You can see some of the kids out here playing, a bunch of folks out here playing around. The uh, big lit 
Wall Park. There's actually two dog parks here for big dogs and for the little dogs that come out here. And we've brought our own Buford down here a few times. The other thing is, is that if you'll notice the playgrounds here and the areas are set up so for also for the kids where uh, it's, a, it's a soft landing if for some reason they happen to, uh, to miss that jump or they happen to uh, kind of slip off some of the things. It's a nice soft landing area for them. Folks are coming out here, they come out here seven days a week and it's just a really beautiful area to come out and kind of hang out in. kind of talk a little bit about what Victoria Park has to offer. What to expect coming down here, living down here, looking to relocate down here. Outdoor enthusiasts, families, beach goers, and dog lovers. This is all a very family friendly neighborhood to play in, to be around in. It actually reminds a lot of people of a little more quieter times. It's really unique because of its location in the middle of Fort Lauderdale. It's almost like a little oasis in the middle of really, really busy Fort Lauderdale. People are hanging out here all the time. They're just kind of relaxing, doing their own things. And the lifestyle, it's a very mixed and eclectic lifestyle here. There's a booming bar and restaurant within walking distance on Los Solace, walk or bike to the beaches real quick around here. Most folks around here, they're spending their time outside. As you can see, the folks here are doing. Holly Park is definitely one of the hot spots for all the different types of uh, sports that are going on here and the folks to bring their dogs down. It's very, very close to up and coming Flagler Village, which is more of a late night lifestyle. There's a lot of great areas around, a lot of cool things to expect here at Victoria Park. The real estate market down here, there's pretty much homes of any kind. Kind of lends itself to a very, very unique neighborhood. And it appeals to a lot of buyers or renters from, from all price points. On one street, you'll find a multi-million dollar waterfront properties and mansions that are built up. The next you'll see some newly constructed townhomes or condos. And then the third, you may come out and find something that was built in the 1930s and has just been slowly refurbished and rebuilt. There's really no shortage of demand for homes here in Victoria Park. It's a very, very popular, very sought after neighborhood here. Zillow actually lists Victoria Park as one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Fort Lauderdale. I think the median home value is about $455,000, $460,000. It's just something to, uh, you know, to consider coming down here. Now, one of the things that we're sure you'll fall in love with down here in Victoria Park with the, are the unique homes and the tropical landscapes and the laid back lifestyle. Um, it's just, there's just a lot to offer folks down here in, in Victoria Park. We're here in front of one of the Holiday Park's kind of historic switcher engine. It's a 1936 switcher engine uh, railroad car. Basically, it's one of the ones that they used to pull the trains down here long, long time ago. Built to around 1935, 1936. It looks like it was a steam driven one with the little smokestacks on the top but actually it was actually oil fired, basically how it ran. So it's kind of a cool thing to kind of see around here. It's just one of the many things that are, that are neat and interesting in regard about Victoria Park. Home to still over 10,000 residents. The neighborhood Vosa, a very active association, is very actively involved in things going on around the city. And they pride themselves on that. So whether you're an empty nester, whether you're a family, a young family, or whether you're a senior, there's always a place here in Victoria Park for you. Or if this is a second home. The association actually has its own little newsletter. It gives you all kinds of advice on areas around here, things to look for, things to be aware of. It's very, very well received. And again, with over 10,000 residents here, um, you can see that, that, that there is a lot of stuff going on here. Victoria Park with its location, its closeness to shopping and the beach and the intercoastal, it really has something for just about everybody. So Well, and it is a famous place for Chrissy Everett. This is true. This yeah. is very, very true. If, you, if you're a tennis fan like we are, it's even more special to that. It's geared towards everybody. Whether it's, like I said, families, empty nesters, young professionals, seniors looking to retire, okay, or just looking for a little easier lifestyle with a very, very diverse architecture and a very, very diverse group of folks that you can call friends and neighbors, Victoria Park is definitely a place to take a look at. Hopefully you've enjoyed our, our video, little video tour of Victoria Park. Oh, and if you give us a thumbs up, appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see ya. <laughs>